Hey bitches, it's Mara here at Daily Dose of a Hot Mess, and today I'm showing you how I fill in my eyebrows. But before we get started, I just want to give you guys three tips of advice. First of all, if you are new to filling in your eyebrows, or if you have never filled them in before, I highly, highly, highly would recommend using an eyeshadow over an eyebrow pencil, because an eyeshadow is so much more forgiving. What I mean by forgiving is if you mess up with an eyeshadow, since it is powder, you can easily easily smudge it away or fix it, but with an eyebrow pencil, if you accidentally put too much pressure on your eyebrows, there will be a huge line and you probably have to redo your entire makeup look to get rid of it, so I wouldn't recommend using a pencil. The palette I have today is from Rimmel and it is their Smoky palette and the code is 00. I will be using the darkest color on this palette today and the brush I have is from Shoppers Drug Mart and it is from their line, I would recommend getting a brush with very compact bristles because that gives you way more control over what you're doing and since filling in your eyebrows is a pretty precise activity, you want the most control you can get, right? And you want to avoid fluffy brushes because that will just spread product all over your eyebrows and it will not look good on you, honey. Tip two is for guys, when you fill in your eyebrows, you want to be less precise and less structured. What you do is you want to use a loose hand to naturally enhance the shape of your eyebrow and not to draw them on. With girls, they want more pointy tips at the end and precise lines and guys generally avoid that because it looks more feminine. Fem feminine. Feminine. Okay, I can't fucking pronounce it, bitch. And my last tip is by nature, your face is asymmetrical. So no matter how hard you try, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot get your eyebrows to look exactly the same. What I like to say is they are brothers, they are cousins, they are sisters, they are not twins. So without further ado, let's get started. So right now I have nothing on my eyebrows at all. I washed all the product off and right here I'm just showing you which color I'm using on the palette which is the darkest one again. The first thing I do is I try to shape my eyebrows and what I mean by that is I try to kind of create the general outline of how they're gonna be. It's very important at this first step to use a very loose hand because if you like mess up the general shape of your eyebrows your entire eyebrows will be fucked up. I accidentally used way too much pressure and there is an obvious line. This is when I realized that I messed up so I went to the washroom to wash it all off. Next I use these vertical movements to fill in the part where my eyebrow starts from because it looks way more natural using this method. And now I'm just filling in the entire eyebrow to make sure that all the product is evenly distributed. I would say one of the hardest things is to connect the beginning of your eyebrow to the rest of your eyebrow because those vertical motions are kind of different. Here's a tip for you guys, if you take your brush and you line it up against your nose, this is where your eyebrow should start from and if you rotate your brush while keeping the brush on your nose, this is where your eyebrow should end. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my other eyebrow doing the exact same thing as before. Again, I'm spending extra time near the part where my eyebrow starts from because it's very hard to get those vertical lines to blend evenly. Next, I am using a brow gel from Marc Jacobs and the point of a brow gel is to keep your eyebrows on fleek, girl. That just means that you do not want your eyebrows to fly everywhere and for them to stay in place. All you do is you take the wand and you use an upwards motion and yeah, that's basically it. Alrighty, so this is the final product. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Merrick. I have also linked my other beauty videos in the description box down below, so make sure to go check them out. And I'm also thinking of doing a how I pluck my eyebrows type of video, so if you do want to see that as well, make sure to let me know by leaving a comment. Until next time, that was your daily dose of a hot mess. Bye bitches! My hands right here and then distribute it all over my face like this you want to make sure you actually have a patting motion on